Hello everyone. In today's video, I am going to show you what is gravity and how does it work. So do you ever wonder why do objects fall on the ground? Well, to answer this question, there are many theories. One of them was given by Aristotle about 2300 years ago. Aristotle believed in flat earth and considered earth as the center of universe. He believed that sun, stars and other planets orbit around the earth. This model of universe is known as geocentric model of universe. To answer the question why do objects fall on the ground, Aristotle proposed that every object in the universe has its natural place and they move toward their natural places. Just like a swing. If you displace a swing from its equilibrium position, it will try to move towards its equilibrium position. In this way, Aristotle explained that for most of the object, earth is the natural place and they try to stay on the ground. That's why objects fall on the ground. And in this way, he explained that heavier objects will fall faster than lighter objects. But in 16th century, Nicholas Copernicus formulated a new model of universe and in his model of universe, he took sun as the center of universe rather than earth. That model of universe is known as helicentric model. After few years of Copernicus, Galileo Galilei carried out an experiment. He threw two objects of same material but different masses from leaning tower of Pisa. He found that both objects fell on the ground at the same time. That means that heavier and lighter objects both fall on the ground with same speed. These two ideas were contrary to what Aristotle taught. So this question was unanswered till the era of Newtonian physics. In 17th century, Isaac Newton began to rethink about this question. When he saw an apple falling from a tree, he began to think what causes the apple to fall on the ground. As Newton's law of motion suggests that an object at rest will stay at rest unless it is acted by some external force. In explanation of this question, he presented universal law of gravitation. He proposed that an object will attract every other object in the universe. And that force of attraction varies with masses of the objects. In our case, Earth is attracting the apple towards it. He called that force of attraction gravitational force. In case of Earth, this force is referred as gravity. So according to Newton, the answer is things fall because Earth attracts them towards it. Yet it was a good explanation of question but was unable to answer some questions. That is why do objects attract each other? Does gravity has any effect on light? According to Isaac Newton, gravity has no effect on light. But he was himself confused with his observations of distant galaxies. He found that the light coming from them was showing some strange behavior that he was unable to explain. 
to answer these questions and present a better model of gravity, Albert Einstein with his friend Marcel Grossman in 1915 presented general theory of relativity. To understand this theory, we must have a better understanding of space and time. First mathematical model of space and time was given by Isaac Newton in his famous book Principia. In his model of space and time, they are just like a background stage where events happen. But it is independent of what is happening. Time was separate from space and considered like a single line that was infinite in both directions and it has a universal speed. It passes with the same speed independent of wherever you are in the universe. That was a bit of history about Newton's picture of space and time. So what is space? Well, the first image that comes in our mind is outer space. But in fact, space is everywhere. Every single atom in the universe has 99.999996% of free space. If we remove all space from the earth, its size will be equal to the size of an apple. So what exactly is space? Well now, instead of removing space from universe, remove everything from universe. Every single atom, building, planet, star and galaxies. Then what are we left with? Well you think that we are left with nothing. But this is not true. We are left with space. Let's take an analogy of a fish tank. Fish in the tank represents an object in the universe and water represents the space. Just like water, space also has its physical properties. It can be bent, it can carry waves. It was Bernard Riemann who first thought that Matter and space does interact with each other. Matter causes the space to bend. In general theory of relativity, Albert Einstein proposed that it is not only space that has physical properties. Time also has physical properties just like space, water and other objects. And space and time are not two different things. Time is interwoven with space. To understand this point, let's get back to the analogy of fish tank we took for understanding space. If we add some color to water, it will mix with water. Just like the color in water, space and time are interwoven. So Albert Einstein proposed that it is not only space that interacts with matter, but it is space time that is bent. And that bending or curvature in space time causes other objects in space time to change their direction of motion. So he put forward the idea that what we think of as gravitational force is just an effect that is caused by the curvature in space-time. To see what's that mean, just have a look at the animation playing here. So if there is no other object in space-time, then the Earth will move in straight line. But if there is any massive object like Sun, the curvature in space-time caused by Sun will cause the earth to change its direction of motion. This effect was considered as gravitational force by Newton. This theory also proposed that light is also affected by the curvature of space-time. To see that how does it happen, imagine you are observing a distant star and there is sun between you and star. The light will bend when passing near the sun due to the curvature in space-time. This effect is known as gravitational lensing effect because here a gravitational pull is working just like a lens that was observed by the Newton but he was unable to explain this phenomena. To visualize how this effect looks like, have a look at the simulation I made here. A galaxy passing across a black hole. So the conclusion of this video is that gravity is not a force but just an effect caused by the curvature in space-time.